Well, I might feel defeated And I might hang my head I might be barely breathing But I'm not dead, no Cause tomorrow's another day And I'm thirsty anyway so bring on the rain. Oh, guys. <laughs> I was drawn to that old Jody Messina song, Bring on the Rain. Jody Messina and Tim McGraw. Mm. I have to tell you, I. Uh, Daddy's always going to root for the underdog. I'm always drawn to the outcast, the one that don't fit in, the one that's different, the one that's different, the one that's put down because for whatever reason, right, they, they're they just always there. They don't give up and they can butt their heads so many times against the wall, but it's that perseverance, it's that... Uh, that drive to not be pushed down. The ability to take what life throws at them and rise from it, right? You want to put them tin swords in my back? Well, fuck, you know what? We'll pull them out, sharpen them bitches up. We'll sell the shit on eBay and I'll give it to a charity. The proceeds go to a charity. There, you, you always find the good. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, you always rise up. A lot of you have been doing this all your life and really don't realize it, right? Started when you were younger. Then you had to do it in your teenage years, right? Maybe you were always facing opposition. You were always the outcast. You always felt like you had to, to fight or work extra hard to fit in. Maybe with friends, family, life in general, work situations. You were just different. You were different. You didn't fit the mold. You, you never did. You probably never will because you weren't designed to. The ones that stand out, the ones that are strong enough to overcome what others would consider limitations... Guys, we're all going to be needed. You know, uh, that's a trait that a lot of people don't realize is a blessing. Because some people's self-worth and their self-identity is based on fitting in and, and, and being accepted and, and no, no conflicts, no nothing. You know, everything's got to be done X, Y, Z. It's, it's got to fit the mold. Oh, we got to fit in. We got to fit in. I don't want to stand out. I don't want no one to notice. Because when you stand out, when you put yourself out there and you're, you're unabashedly you, yeah, you put your flaws out there. People can see. People can see. That scares some people. They couldn't take the judgment. Some people couldn't face the judgment because they know how they judge others. And the mere thought of them being judged if they were to independently be able to look at themselves removed and judge themselves, they know exactly what the hell they'd be saying. They can't take that. Whereas the outcasts, the misfits, the ones that were never meant to fit a mold, when they say God broke that mold, yeah, he threw enough of us out there with the uh, uh, broken molds a reason. Ah, daddy's going to be your cheerleader. Daddy's going to daddy's going to build you up and that's what I want you all to get from my reading. Yeah, we can get all crazy and and, and cuss and, and all this shit because you know what? What the fuck? The outcasts, the misfits, they've learned to laugh at life and find the humor in things. 
Because laughter makes you feel good, right? Look at Robin Williams. Who would have thought? Some of the happiest, funniest people out there have been through the worst. From the darkness, they can see the humor in things. They can see the different twist in things. They can see uh, the juxtaposition in life, right? And circumstances. People don't mind taking the loss. Because at the end of the day, it's self-love. Right? Some of y'all keep going into situations that you know you're not wanted, you know you're not welcome, but, you know, you show up, babe, maybe because you have to. You're stuck, you can't get out of it. So you try, but, you know, some of y'all... Shit luck when it comes to love, right? It's not that you don't have it. Oh, there we go. Some storms are coming. It's not that you don't have the love in yourself. It's, you know, no one's really appreciated what kind of love you have to offer. Your uniqueness. But you don't let life's defeats take away that love for yourself. Take away that love for life, right? Even if 19 out of 20 people cussed you out that day, you're going to remember the one person that was nice. You're not going to let the 19 others get you down because you know, you know. It's a very strong energy to be in. It's a lonely energy to be in, right? And sometimes, you know, you've taken the hits. But you're able to bounce back because, you know, you do the reflection. You do the you do the thinking. When you've been down and out, you know, when the Lord wants to teach you a lesson, he's going to strip you of everything that brought you security. He's going to strip you of everything. So at some point in time, you're just going to have yourself and just the straight-ass belief that the good Lord up above is going to see you through. Because you haven't been able to depend upon anyone else. So you realize that. But you've also realized at the end of the day, <laughs> your father up above is always going to have your back. He built you that way for a reason. He built you that way for a reason. Earth Angels. You're more than willing to come in and save the day for somebody. Whether you know them or not, you're always willing to offer that cup of love. You're always willing to, to um, make someone feel good. Because you understand. So you, when you're out and about through your day, you hold doors open for people. You tip waiters and waitresses good. You do everything you can in little ways to spread the love. If you're out and about and you see somebody is, uh, you know, might be having a bad day. Maybe you... Try to give them a little extra words of encouragement. You know, if you can't speak, you at least smile and nod in their direction. You, you try to send them that love and light because you understand. You listen. Lord, when I worked at the gas station, I knew people's fucking life stories. Never knew their name, but man, I knew their life stories. People tell you about themselves. You're easy to talk to. Just easy to talk to. Because you listen to people. Because you've been at a point in time where you didn't have anyone to listen to you. 
So, you know, when someone wants to talk, you listen. You actually listen. Judgment. You know all about this, right? You know all about this. Judgment. But you know, we all face ours. Here on earth as above. Day to day. Definitely when we draw our last breath. You don't fear it. Right? Judge away, bitches. Judge away. Judge away. You know that most people's judgments on you are reflections of what they lack in themselves. Judge away, bitches. Judge away. If people wish to leave you, friends, family, loved ones, Or maybe you have had to walk away from friends, family, loved ones. Because being around them was just too much of a burden. You've been able to do that because you know it's the right thing to do. You can't stay put and allow yourself to be drained if it's not to your highest good. Because you know They'll get thors. They'll get thurs in due time, right? <laughs> They'll get thurs. You'll eventually get yours one of these days. You have to leave what doesn't serve you, what doesn't make you happy, who doesn't make you happy. Because eventually you're going to find the one that does. They're going to appreciate your uniqueness. You're go they're going to appreciate uh, your kindness. They're going to appreciate your ability to understand them, to listen to them, and then vice versa. They're not going to care about judgment, what people think. You know, you guys could be like night and day as far as looks, you know, as far as how, how it would appear to the outside world. The appearance of the relationship. You don't care. You don't care. They're not going to care. You passed all that shit, right? As long as the love is real, it don't fucking matter. Mm. The underdog. The underdogs of the world. A lot of you are going to be coming into union. Okay? All my beautiful outcasts and misfits and the ones that don't want to fit the mold. The ones who have been through the broken hearts, the, the missed opportunities, the ones who just couldn't
the ones who'd only speak to you when, uh, you know, no one else was around, or, um, you know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. So you just wouldn't make it an issue, right? It is what the fuck it is. It is what the fuck it is. Hmm. The God says, oh. you're going to find the one that's going to appreciate what you have to offer. But it's going to be when it's time. Okay? Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Some of y'all have somebody who just can't show their emotions. Okay? They want to come in. They want to make that apology. They want to do uh, what they know is right. But they're not there yet. Okay? They're not there yet. They have to grieve and deal with what they got to deal with, okay? They got to go through what you went through. The ego death. The ego death. The not worrying about the judgment. To not worry about uh, how it's going to look. To not worry about um, society. To quit judging themselves as they judge others. It's kind of like a revolving door there, right? When they look at themselves and try to look at how things are going, they see, because they know exactly what the hell they'd think or they'd say. So it's that inner conflict. Some of these people aren't used to it like you, like us. So they don't know, they don't know how to comprehend it, how to uh, compartmentalize it, how to they don't know how to turn it around and make it work, like we do. It's a new feeling. They got to face their demons. And it's hard. It's hard slaying them demons. It's hard ridding yourself of uh, codependent thoughts and beliefs and people and situations and all that shit. Ooh, it's hard. It's hard. Don't happen overnight, that's for fucking sure. Feeling confused about why their heart's even broken. Why? Why is this bothering me so much? What the fuck is this about? Why? 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 Why am I even here? What is this about? It's about their inability to treat everybody the same. To love everybody equally. Regardless of looks, race, religion, sex. You name it. <sighs> Experiencing the losses. 
the rejections, the non-endings, the unreturned text, the unhad conversation. The inability to get closure. People just up and leave. They move on. This person isn't used to that. This person isn't used to being left behind. This person isn't used to being left high and dry out in the cold. Just, you know, thrown away like the trash. Y'all don't wait around on these energies, okay? Don't wait around for this person. Don't get caught up in filling that void right now, okay? They got a long fucking journey. And they got to do it on their own. The same way you did yours. The same lessons you had to learn. Keep doing you. Keep being you. Don't change that. Do not change that. Do not change that. Send love and light to everybody. Knowing your brothers and sisters of the world are okay. You keep doing you. Most of you, you haven't met this person yet. You realize that? It's not that person from the past that you might be thinking about. Your person is out there going through this unrelated to you. Because see, once they go through what you went through, once they learn to appreciate the realness in people, that is when they're going to recognize you. That is when they're going to recognize your worth. That is when They know that they've conquered their fears, their, their, their insecurities, their egos, right? And it's unrelated to you. Because when you meet this person and you hear about their past, it probably surprised the fuck out of you. Your person's going through something right now, like I said, unrelated to you. And they're getting their lessons. So that way, when they come across to you, it's not going to be a missed opportunity. And it's not always the past. You know, you could have had a connection to this person in a past life. So you're going to meet someone... And it may come up as Six of Cups energy, but it's like a past life connection. So, don't hang on. Don't wait. Don't worry. Don't fret. All my beautiful outcasts. The ones that just refuse to fit into the fucking mold. Things are getting prepared for you. Trust that. I love that energy, guys. I love my outcast bitches. Hell yeah. Woohoo. Peace, love, and light, babies.